Alright, so hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a random code generator. Now this is very simple. Like super simple. And yeah. So all you need to do. So uh, insert a folder. Uh, insert object. Alright, so insert a folder. And name this code config. Well, you can name it whatever you want. But this just helps it know. And then add your digits. So you can add um, how many digits you want. Just name them stuff like D1. You do D2. Now I'm going to do 6. Because it's a lot. You can do 7 or 8, 9, 10. And I can show you how to configure all of them. And I did this code for one of my games called The Obby Bever Graded. And you can go check that out that game. It's in the description and stuff. So yeah. And part two will be um on how to make tiles of the codes. Alright, and then what you want to do is make another one and name this full code. Alright, so this is going to be the entire code. I'm gonna add a script. And I'm just going to name it code handler and then do this. So you do the digits and uh, I will be a montage of doing the digits. Here we go. Alright, so now that we have done our things, we're going to add functions. So local D D1 to do non-capital so you know it's a function. I mean local function D1. And then just keep doing this for all the digits. Local function D2. And then local function D3 and you just keep doing it for all all the digits and uh, yeah and then you and then after you do this you uh th that's where the fun part is where you get to randomize the code all right almost there and if you wanted to do a seventh digit you do local function d7 and you add another one of these and do um d7 and then do this d6 equals and yeah and this is where the fun part gets to so you do local d generator equal math dot random zero through nine don't do ten because that's two digits and then d1 dot value equal d generator all right, and that's how you do um, a function. And then you're going to copy and paste it and do it for all of them. D2. But you just do um, the 3, like this is D3. D4. D5. And then last, D6. And you can keep copy and paste this and put this to D7 or 8 or 9, whatever you want. And then now we do local function gather code. So this is this is what's gonna happen. So it's going to gather the digits. All right. So d1 dot value dot dot. You do two dots and then d2 dot value. Cause you know how you like put text in and you do dot dots. That's how I figured that out. And then now. You do D3, hold on. Dot value and then dot dot D3. Dot value, dot dot. You don't do three dots. By the way. And I was done with this. Oh wait, I need to put the values. I forgot. Alright, But you don't do two dots. You don't do two dots in the end one. 
So then the end one. So then that should work. Let me just check. Yeah, okay, so that should work. But for this, you're gonna do um full code. Let me space that so it doesn't like, you know, function it all together. Full code dot value equal. So then it gets the full code and puts it together. And then what you're gonna do is right underneath it, you go D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. And you can do, you can randomly generate the codes whenever you want if you wanted to do like, if some, if somebody like, um, did something like, didn't like, ended the game, you could do this again. So now, that we have got our uh, random generated codes. Let's see if it'll put, if it'll randomly generate the code and put it on here. So as you can see, D1 is that, and then. Yeah.